How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to print big parts fast using a 0.8mm nozzle. Printing out objects using a larger nozzle is a great way to make large parts fast by cutting down on the overall number of layers in your 3D model. This is perfect for printing out big parts that don't have a lot of fine detail. The 0.8mm nozzle that I'm using came as part of a set that I purchased on Amazon that included a full set of tools for swapping nozzles and a few different nozzle sizes for about $11. The overall quality of the nozzle seemed pretty good, so here on the left we have a 0.8mm nozzle and on the right is the standard 0.4. We can also see the difference between a 0.2mm nozzle on the right, which is a very, very fine tip. Something interesting I noticed on the nozzle at this size is the internal diameter of the tip appears to have a chamfer on it. I'm not sure if this is in spec or not, but it's something I noticed on this nozzle that I haven't seen before on others. Printing with 0.6mm layers gives you a real appreciation for how fast an object can be fabricated using these thick layers. The surface finish on a model printed with these thicker layers tends to have a fairly even consistent appearance, so it looks more like a texture than a bunch of layers. You can really get a feel for the impact that changing the nozzle has on your print time by going into your slicer and creating a profile for the new nozzle. Right now I'm looking at a calibration cube with a 0.2mm layer height, and you can see that the estimated print time is about 26 minutes to print this part out. So switching to the 0.8mm nozzle and printing with 0.6mm layers, we're now looking at a print time of about 9 minutes, which makes a pretty significant difference. The majority of our time savings comes from the fact that we're printing a fewer number of overall layers by increasing the layer height. This becomes very obvious when we're looking at the printed model, so here we can see that printing with the 0.6mm layer height creates a model that has much thicker layers. The benefit is printing parts much faster, but the drawback is we lose some of the fine detail. I wanted to test out the larger nozzle when printing something a little bit bigger, so I maxed out the build volume on my ANET ET5X with this Benchy. I don't print Benchies very often, but I thought this would be a fun way to test out how well the large nozzle works when printing something that's got a lot of real life problems, like overhangs, bridging, steep angles, and things like that. I printed this Benchy out on the ANET ET5X which has a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, which is perfect for using a larger nozzle. One of the things I noticed when printing out using a larger nozzle is the filament absolutely flies off the spool. So this video is not sped up, but you can see the spool in the background is spinning pretty much continuously, and that's because the rate of consumption is very high when using a large nozzle. Small defects aren't as readily apparent when printing out with this larger layer height, so the layers have a very even and consistent look to them. This means when you compare it to a model that was printed out using a 0.2mm layer height, it has a very even, almost textured appearance to it. Because of the thickness of the layers, the seam can be fairly visible, like you can see here on the left, but the overall texture looks pretty good and the bottom of the benchy looks great, you can very clearly make out the text. So the question is, when do you want to use the 0.8mm nozzle? And the answer is, when you want to print a large part and you're not very concerned about small details. Using this nozzle is a great way to make large, even layers in a fraction of the time it would take using a smaller nozzle. If you've used a larger nozzle before, let me know what your experience was. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing. 